Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this low power kitchen timer with touchscreen, backlight, many many things. Uh, yeah, here, if you're interested to see the uh, product details, I uh, think we have some description here. Power source needs two pieces of AAA batteries. So let's see how this looks. On the picture, it looked really nice, some kind of, uh, yeah, like wood design. Yeah, take it here. Okay, so that's looking really good. Let's check if there are already some batteries. Probably not. Yeah, I mean, it's super cheap, so we cannot complain about that. So I inserted the batteries, which was super easy, and here on the back you can see the magnets. So it looks like I hit the start-stop just by accident. Um, yeah, looking really good. So let's reset with pressing these two buttons. And it has basically two functions. It has a count up and a count down. So to count down uh, yeah we set uh, minutes and seconds and then we start and as you can see it starts counting down really nicely I mean that's a really nice animation and the screen is uh, really backlit on the whole time during uh, yeah while it's uh, counting down so let's try the opposite uh, way to count up so i'll try to reset okay that worked and when we start that yeah it is counting up so we can stop it and continue from there like a start uh, pause start again and finally stop and as you can see here, you can use the countdown many, many times. So if you have it set for something like three seconds, then we stop it and start again from three seconds down to zero. Stop it and start it again. So super easy. You definitely don't need instructions, which is a great plus. You have this stand here on the back. That's also great. I'm a little bit high with the camera, but uh, actually it's pretty good visible uh, from almost every angle. I mean, not totally from top, but when you have a, uh, go a little bit uh, away from uh, some distance, then it's absolutely no problem. So everything works really good. And I also had the opportunity to put it on a kitchen uh, fridge or freezer. Works pretty good with these two magnets, no problem at all. And yeah, everything is really good. The only uh, disadvantage you have is when it's pretty dark. And then it's difficult to see anything because there are no buttons. That's actually the good thing. So it has a super nice design. And it comes even with the same price as you would buy with these silly old buttons. But of course it has this disadvantage that it doesn't have any illumination without doing something. So you, the only thing which you have to remember is to, uh, if you want to use it uh, when you don't have a lot of light or something like that, you just push at the right button corner and then you have everything visible that's the only thing which you have to remember with this thing so it should be pretty easy uh, not to forget after you have done it a couple of times so i would definitely prefer such a beautiful design over all the old kitchen timers with these old buttons and nothing can break i mean even after using it ten thousand times uh, if you have a touch screen, it never breaks. If you have a normal button, it can uh, break or get dirty over time, definitely. So that's a really nice thing. And 
Yeah, again, it's about the uh, same price as a uh, normal kitchen timer. So why don't you, uh, why not to buy this really advanced thing? Uh, it's pretty loud. You, it's it's hard to uh, not to hear uh, when the time is over. So that's also a really important thing. Um, yeah, actually no real disadvantage at all. I will put down the link into the description so you can order it right from there on Amazon if you like it. And yeah, if you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.